cell and to enter inside the cell. Then there is another covering that is HIV envelope, which is protective covering. That again a protein covering, right? Then there is a capsid, HIV capsid. We have already discussed that capsid protein. Did we? Yes. Then, uh, I don't know if we discussed HIV capsid. A, a, a capsid, we discuss it. Come on. Yeah, a capsid, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So HIV capsid means capsids of HIV. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, then uh, the virus is have genetic material RNA. So what we call this virus? What kind of virus is it? Uh, bacteria phage. No. Retrovirus. Oh, oh, retrovirus. Okay. Yes. So retroviruses we have already uh, um, studied that those viruses which contain protein means capsid protein covering and inside their the genetic material is RNA we call it retrovirus. So this is a retrovirus. Along with the retrovirus uh, RNA, so it's two pair of RNA. Along with that, there is a HIV enzyme, right? So the enzyme which contain what is the name of that enzyme? You must have. You must have. Take the screenshot after I uh, explain it. Right. The enzyme it have that is called reverse transcriptase. A reverse. A reverse. Transcriptase. What is the function of reverse transcriptase? Can you tell me? We have discussed this. Reverse transcriptase. Look. To make multiple if, copies or to like feed the. No. No. Look. To make multiple. Any, no, no, no. I said that. If anything have to work inside our body, bacterial body, then it must be DNA. RNA is not at all capable of because RNA is not a genetic material. So RNA can do nothing. So what exactly? But it have a RNA. So how does it work? So first, what it will do? So it have it have RNA. So it have RNA. But along with the RNA, we have we understood that it have an enzyme, and the name of that enzyme is reverse transcriptase. So that enzyme is present over here. This enzyme, along with the RNA, there is an enzyme called the reverse transcriptase. Or reverse transcriptase. So, with the help of this enzyme, what it will do, it will go inside human body and from RNA, it will make DNA. What kind of DNA? DNA of virus. So, it will make DNA. So, function of reverse transcriptase is formation of our DNA on RNA template. Is it clear? Yes. Now, what, what this DNA will do? This DNA will go inside human body. Right? So, this is human DNA. This is human DNA. We know this is double helical, double standard structure. What it will do, it will make a cut inside going. It will make as, as, as the bacteriophage did. Right? It will make cut in human DNA. Right. By using human machinery, right? Then it will join in between. It will hijack the machinery, right? It will hijack the machinery. Now, what will happen? This is the viral DNA. Then what it will do? Then it will start what multiplication? Is it clear or not? Tell me. It is. So please. First, take this screenshot and uh, write down this process. Then I'll I'll go. Uh, how does it work? Okay. With the help of another diagram, I'll tell you.
done, sir. Great. Look, what is the life cycle of HIV? How does it work? Look, this is the life cycle of HIV. That's how the HIV virus uh, work and that's how the HIV virus causes the infection. Look, this is the HIV virus. Now, what happened? These, uh, these uh, protein receptor, which green color receptor present on they are made up of basically protein. These uh, match, match stick like structure. They are recognized by the receptor except uh, special receptors present on the uh, cell right so they are recognized by then what will happen this cover will start fusing right now the binding will take place with the help of these receptors right the binding after the binding what happened it, it uh, this, this cover part do not goes due to the fusion the uh, this capsid part remains outside then it insert two things what is that it insert rna right and then another thing, which is the, 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 is the enzyme, right? Enzyme, enzyme basically reverse transcriptase. This is the reverse transcription with the help of reverse transcriptase enzyme. This yellow color structure of RNA from the RNA formation of the DNA takes place. And who do this thing? The reverse transcriptase. With the help of reverse transcriptase enzyme, reverse transcription. Where reverse transcription is taking place? The reverse transcription is taking place in the part of cytoplasm. Is it clear? After that, DNA will go inside the nucleus. This is nucleus. Right? So, where does the reverse transcriptase take place? Nucleus. Uh, sorry, uh, cytoplasm. Right? DNA will go inside the nucleus. Right? When DNA will grow inside the nucleus, the integration of DNA will take place where the integration with the host DNA. This is the host DNA. Right? After that, what will happen? The replication takes place. Who is the which enzyme is rep, uh, responsible for replication? Uh, 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 hel uh helicase? No. Uh, DNA polymerase. Uh, polymerase. Uh. Right. DNA polymerase. So with the help of DNA polymerase, replication will take place. More DNA will be formed. Right. More viral DNA will be formed. Then assembly will take place. How? After translation, the formation of the capsid will take place. 
then the assembly will take place and new virus will come out of the body out of the cell so okay so this lab. this only happens to make a new virus exactly this only happen to make a new world okay right take the screenshot then we'll do that okay sir i got the timetable for my exams okay great so uh, what is that can you share with me um the first one is uh, on 1st june 1st june so uh, when it, uh, it's a biology paper it's on 1st june the it's biology paper june. okay it's on 1st june and uh, what is the syllabus which uh, first take the screenshot then uh, let's discuss the slips i'll discuss with syllabus okay Okay, done. Yeah, okay. Let me open this I have in the table side. Say this one. So uh energy flow, ecology, environment and climate change, we did it, right? Microbiology. We are about to do it, right? Yeah. yeah. Immunity and decomposition. Two. These are the there are two topic which left with that, right? Yeah. Then after that. There is topic seven and eight as well. So, what about this one? The respiration muscle. So these all topic are left seven and eight as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Control and I also have to revise like uh, the one that I gave already, the first three units, because if they wish to, they can bring questions from the first three units as well. Fine. Fine. No issue. No issue. So. We right. have the second one on fifth June. Fifth June. No issue. Sure. We'll do it. We'll do it. Uh, today we are standing on the December only. December. Yeah. January, February, March. Anyhow, we'll do it by March. Anyhow. Okay. Anyhow. Uh, I wish I could finish it uh, till the January because, you know, the cellular respiration part, that is a respiration part. It will move very fast, right? Hardly it will take two class for me. Okay. I just finish in two class, right? In general, I'm telling you the my general piece. And then uh, muscle movement means uh, tissue, skeletal system, right? It will take approximately three class. I'm telling you, you can note it down, right? RD3 class. Uh, response to the breathing system exchange, uh, controlling the heart and breathing, okay. Principal land, homeostasis, cardiac muscle and control. It will take two or three classes, three classes. Control of homeostasis. Again, two classes and then for response to give the technology. This neurons. System work right again. Coordination in animal, the central nervous system. We'll do it. No issue. It's not going to take that much time. Okay. So did you got everything what we discussed till now? Wow. Yes. Actually, I'm learning everything by heart as we go. Oh, great. Okay. Very good, very good. Because I did not do that in the past and it was not good. It was too much <laughs> yeah. for me then. I'm very happy to listen to that. Thank God you are happy with that. <laughs> so whenever a student do it by themselves, uh, it becomes very happy because there are very rare students who, 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 who do each and everything, uh, whatever teacher tells them. So, And that's really good, very good. Thank you. And welcome, welcome. So, uh, how which I will transmit it? You, you get it, got it? Yeah. With the help of body fluid, right? And how so we discuss this thing, each and everything. You got it now? Yeah. Yeah. So the Sir, same. Uh, is there no cure for HIV and AIDS? Still, there is no cure for HIV and AIDS. There are some life-saving drugs, basically. And uh, United States and even India is making very, uh, very good and effective drugs. 
so these are the two countries which have made very effective drugs these drugs are basically meant for life support system right uh, they can stretch the time period right uh, or they can uh, with the help of these drugs a person can survive for longer time let's say a person uh, got the hiv at the, at the age of 40 or 45 right so then uh, then the life span of that person can be stretched 20 25 year next 20 25 year so it's a very long time 20 25 year means the person can survive up to 65 or 70 uh, that's too much right so these are the life saving drugs but they are the costly still because um because they are not rare drugs right so but there is still there is no cure there are number like like uh, cancer we are ta- we are talking about that we have the remedy with the help of chemotherapy radiotherapy and you know each and everything is in vain it's have nothing they are not effective so there well, are some still st- people that have cancer so that's bad Num- number of the people you know the cancer uh, i i'm able to see uh, when i was child uh, rarely very rare in the rarest case i used to listen even when i have uh, like when i was a sensible child like uh, when i have a sense that what is the cancer and how does it take place and how does it, what is the cause of the cancer on that time it was very rare disease but now we know day by day it's increasing and now it's a very common disease like day before yesterday i met with you know uh, four month five month back i met with the, one of the my friend like uh, i talked him and i uh, i given his, his, him like i i met him after 23 years 23 or 25 years so i given him number i exchanged the number and after you know uh, i called him one day so uh, two months back but he didn't pick my call so i was surprised so again uh, three days back i met with him and he just got cancer and he like it was initial stage so he removed that part and he have a cut from here to here from here to here so well, that's very really bad yeah actually not but, two i uh, you know uh, what I is know the three problem? people one of them had mouth cancer he can't eat that's really very bad any kind of the cancer is very painful and very bad cancer patient like feel very bad you know uh, what is the reason behind it the reason behind it is not uh, these the people t- take a smoking or uh, the people chewing tobacco and all that the reason behind it different kind of the chemical which is which has been used in our uh, daily life like uh, the oil most of the people uh, take that is refined oil heavy lotion or the refined oil yeah. so that's really carcinogenic no uh, not only uh, cancer i know so many other illnesses that every person has every other person exactly like exactly. i know five people that have thyroid issues uh, and then i also right. have it oh you must control it because you can do it but i, because, I can no it's it, it just started uh, thankfully i was able to notice it yeah yeah and uh, you know you can control each and everything with the help with the help of your lifestyle if your lifestyle is good if you're a disciplined one right uh easily you can manage any any kind of the disease or elements or deficiency any person has so mm-hmm. that is that is all about due to our lifestyle and uh, the different kind of the food things which we use so uh, you know this diabetes uh, you can understand that this is a uh, yeah. national disease right uh, yeah. now a person who uh, offer the tea ask him uh, do you want a tea with the sugar or without the sugar right so mm-hmm. that kind of it's a, these are the lifestyle diseases blood pressure and all that yeah but like lifestyle here in kuwait is very bad for mm-hmm. everyone right you can right. fix it it's not very easy to make it healthy yeah yeah but, and if you are healthy then you are blessed with the god yeah <laughs> so stay healthy right so treating uh, first first i want to tell you that what is the stage right acute hiv syndrome so what is the acute disease echo look uh let's start from here I'll just go through with it with the speed uh the speed at which the di- disease progresses uh, from hiv infection to the full blown advanced aids dependent on the many of the factor a person who is fit well nourished healthy will probably remain uh, well longer than the someone who is malnourished that's common and the immune system response are more effectively to hiv so that disease takes longer to progress rapid you know i have already told you that uh, the purpose of hiv is to kill only t cells right t cells 
So T killer cells, they are the guard of our body. Mm. The rapid blood medical treatment can also increase the life expectancy. Look, it is written over life expectancy by many years. There are four main stages of the progress of the HIV or AIDS. Acute HIV syndrome. In the first week of the infection, you know, I have we have already discussed that the, um, many times the person do not uh, come to know for the many years that he has HIV. In the first week of the infection, some of uh, some people feel unwell. Symptoms include fever, headache, tiredness, uh, uh, swollen glands. Uh, but all these uh, are similar to the much or less serious viral and the bacterial disease. Some people infected with the HIV have no symptoms between two, 3 to 12 weeks after the infection. HIV antibodies appear in the HIV antibodies appear in the blood, making the person test as HIV positive. This will happen even if uh, they have not felt ill. Right. So what is the test for HIV? ELISA. Right. ELISA test. That is performed for HIV. Right. The symptomatic or chronic stage. Once the infection is established, all the symptoms disappear. Right. In fit young people with their access to effective antiretroviral drugs, this stage can uh, this stage can last many years. However, around the world, uh, around the world, many HIV positive people have little food or medicine for these people the symptom stage these the diseases will relatively short during the uh, asymptomatic stage the virus replicate infecting the t helper cells got it t helper cells but it is kept under the control of asymptomatic stage when it's, uh, it it kills the t cells the virus replicate infecting the t helper cells but keep under control by T killer cells. So T cells are two types. T helper cell, T killer cell. What T killer cell do? T killer cell kills the uh, any antigen comes in the our body or foreign object come in the body. T helper cell help in the formation or production of what antibodies. Clear? And okay, the individual is uh, individual is very infectious, but uh, they may not uh, even know they have the disease. As the stage progresses, secondary infection develops because of the immune system is unable to deal with the situation. Now, this is the uh, stage where uh, the killing of uh, T cells increases and now the immune system becomes helpless. Right? Eventually, the number of virus attacking, the number of viruses attacking the immune system become so great that the whole immune system starts to fail. The normal T helper cell count uh, fall from 500 to 200 per millimeter cubic of the blood. Uh, patient begin to suffer with the HIV related symptom, including the weight loss, fatigue, diarrhea, right? So this is the symptomatic stage when symptoms start coming. In asymptomatic, that is a chronic stage where symptoms do not appear on the body or symptoms do not appear in the physical uh, uh, form. So night sweat, low grade of infection such as thrushes, rapidly progresses the final stage right now what is the advanced stage the t helper cells number fall severe and symptoms begin to appear such as the major weight loss dementia as brain cells become infected dementia means brain cells become uh, weaker cancer copy sarcoma we have discussed and and uh, and the serious infections such as tb Cryptococcal meningitis. Meningitis means uh, means uh, uh, that is a swelling of the brain membrane, right? The worldwide increase in the HIV AIDS is one of the main cause of the worldwide increase, uh, uh, increase in the TB. The final stage of the advanced AIDS is always death. Sir, do the um, symptoms last forever? Yes, right. They last forever. Treating ads. Uh, the moments ads is an uh, incurable disease, but various control methods like we discussed. Uh, 
right uh, so uh, this is the prevention education program help the people to understand always that uh, how to prevent the hiv spread you know right so that is the thing which help you to uh, like uh, spreading of hiv right preventing the spreading of hiv uh, usual approach is controlling the infection disease to produce the effective vaccine uh, but this uh, this providing very difficult for the hiv the virus uh, virus mutates rapidly so that antigen on the viral coat keep changing uh, got it what is the mutation yeah every time it, you know the same thing is with the coronavirus so the sequence of dna yes yes i got the coronavirus someone like in got infected from me from me from, from him from him from him then the 10th person who got affected by the same virus which 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 originated from me the 10th person the virus the viral protein of the my my virus and the viral protein of that 10th person will be quite different right so it is really very difficult to deal with that that's what happened with the coronavirus it was frequently changing the protein structure dna structure oh that's why like made. different variants were coming exactly, out exactly 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 because it that's was taking right. away like little bits of dna right 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 you have to you have taken my virus you have made the uh, vaccine for that right but the 10th person whose virus like if you check his virus then that will be quite different and your your vaccine will become ineffective so that was what that's what was the uh, main thing behind behind the coronavirus because it was not a natural virus it was just a designed virus right so china that's why needs even to chill then sorry china needs to chill stop making all of this stuff uh, I, i'm not with china <laughs> you said that it originated from china from a lab exactly exactly it all originated from the china yes i'm just saying that china needs to chill why is it making this ah because because uh, they, they want to rule over the world this well, is this is their reason and that's not impos- that that's not possible and one more thing they like there is a no democracy kind of the thing they are just ruled by the dictators only right so mm-hmm. hmm, they are the rules by the dictators only so and uh, they keep on making like these they keep on doing this kind of activities and uh, you know making any kind of this kind any kind of any, any these kind of virus is called uh, this is a world crime right uh, these are called wmds weapons for mass destruction and making any kind of the biological weapon or wmd is the world crime it's not the crime within a country it's a world international crime if the person do that uh, the he or she have to face the case in international uh, justice court that is called uh, that is present in switzerland hague uh, you must have seen with this uh, in the case of saddam hussein have you seen that i know about it because you know he did stuff to kuwait and that's how you know exactly exactly and it was allegation but that was not true that was the false allegation that uh, yeah. he, he did not made that kind of the things but yes he was uh, he just he wanted was, to eliminate him right exactly he was behind the massacre of the kurds so that allegation was true but he did not made any kind of the wmd weapon or biological weapon so the allegation was so uh, the uh, trial was um, done in hague switzerland right so china is doing the same thing so you know uh, one more interesting thing i want to tell you in medical science till date there is no medicine for the viral fever have you seen any medicine for the viral fever no no medicine why same thing when the virus passes from one body to another it changes its structure dna structure the so name like of the, the vaccine is a lie sorry the vaccine is a lie vaccine yeah yeah that's a lie that's right there is no vaccine for the uh, viral fever no vaccine and you know don't take any medicine after 7 day you will become uh, fit because the incubation period for the virus is 7 days only Mm-hmm. and the corona virus have been made from uh, uh, made from this virus only rhino virus cough and cold virus nothing else symptoms are same yeah right. symptoms are same but i've seen so many people uh, eat like three panadols each day the ah, ones that are in, from corona yeah yeah <laughs> you know from the corona year people people uh, taken next number of the measures now, now the vaccine is there but which is effective for the some years not Uh, or like five years or six years we have got the free of cost <laughs> but uh, but it's effective for few years only not forever
so this is this is how they how they treat with the uh, virus mutate rapidly and antigen and viral coding keep changing the years or the infection this makes the harder to immune system to recognize the virus and destroy it right the same thing the rate of the change uh, change only shows uh, slows down as the T cells count start to fall to very low level and selection uh, pressure on the virus is reduced. Natural selection is also favor the mutant to enable the virus to replicate particularly fast. Right. So whenever the T cells start, you know, whenever when it attacked previously, the, um, uh, like at the primary stage, uh, the structure changes keep on fasting or fast changing takes place. When, when I, what happens when the number of the T cells reduces, then the changing of the structure becomes slow. This allows the virus to infect many cells quickly. The same thing is given over here, right? Uh, drug therapy is also very important. Combined drugs therapy, which are the antiviral and stimulate immune system, uh, uh, system mean that it's becoming treatable, long-term disease. The drugs are quite expensive. So they are mostly used to develop the uh, de using the developed world. The major pharmaceutical companies have supplied large quantity of the drugs to many developing countries so far, no cost or no minimal uh, charges. Unfortunately, without the comprehensive medical infrastructure where there is a great political instability, the drugs are often not available for those who need it. None of the current drug provide cure, but they can delay onset of the advanced AIDS uh, for many years. I have told that, right? They just delay the process. Recent UK figures show that some of the <coughs> diagnostic HIV positive around 20 year old and given the immune antiviral therapy, their life expectancy will be similar so that the healthy person so at the same age. So, the sooner the treatment begins, the longer the patient can expect, expect to life. Ebola, the same virus, it same kind of the virus, and it originated in South Africa. A deadly virus. It was really very really deadly virus. Ebola. Have you listened about it or not? Yeah, my brother told me about it. Yeah, Ebola. So read about the Ebola. Jumped up. Symptom read about, read it about right. What is the Ebola virus? Basically, this virus originated in the um, southwest Africa. In 1970s, we have good stuff there, unfortunately, because they're you know poor. So I guess that's why these take place. Ah, uh, actually, you know uh, the uh, biodiversity is also too much in the um, that uh, that part of African continent, and the people are very poor. Education is not over there. Uh, poverty is spread wider, spread hygienic. They are not at all hygienic people, right? So because because of their cultural diversity, right? Because of their cultural practices, uh, they eat anything. You must have seen they eat anything, and yeah, uh, yeah because they are eating anything. So you know you can you can know that if you are eating many kind of the animals then the a disease uh, and each and every animal have a special kind of the virus or bacteria or different kind of disease so you will definitely be get infected so that is also a reason behind it right and basically you know the poverty is the main thing uh, uh, which is responsible for increasing the uh, disease level right the frequency of the disease or the number of the people who are infected and because they are uneducated kind of the people Poverty is there, education is not there. So these are the two reasons behind. So most of the disease they came out from the Africa. Got it? So this unit is over. Yeah. Got it. We'll go through with it, right? In case if you feel any difficulty, any problem, then discuss with me. Right. So the next one which you share today, this this is microbiology immunity process. This one. Yeah. Okay. Cell recognition. Leukocyte, fine. Granulocyte, agranulocyte, monocyte, lymphocyte. Mm. Let me share. So let me share with you. 
or diagram types of the first let's read it out So, uh, cell recognition means the body ability that it recognizes its own body cells or different cells. That is called cell recognition. So, how does it recognize us? With the DNA? No. DNA is found inside. With the help of those receptor protein which are present at the surface of the that cell. Got it? Yes. We just seen that match by match stick like of the structure which are present outside of the coronavirus. They are the glycoproteins, right? So the receptors which are present in our cells, they recognize us. Either it's our own cell or it's something different. You know what happened with the blood cancer? In blood cancer, the number of the WBG, leukocytes, right? That's why we call blood cancer leukemia. Blood cells yeah. which are WBC they start increasing tremendously. The count of WBC in our body should be 9,000 to 10,000. Right? Per millimeter cubic. When number of WBC increases abruptly, right? And these cells, what is the function of these cells? These WBC, they attack on the foreign cells. They kill those pathogenic cells and kill them and protect our body from the disease. What actually happened in the case of the blood, uh, the blood cancer, the number of WBC leukocyte increases abruptly. And these cell loses the sense of that either it's their own cells or it's foreign body. Right? They start eating their own cells, their own body cells. That is called autophagy. So they start eating their own cells. And that is the blood cancer. Nothing else. What is, what is blood cancer? Uncontrolled division of the leukocytes. That's why we call that cancer as UK. Clear? Yes. So normal body cells have sense how to recognize outside of the cell. Clear? Yes. So ability of the body to identify self is vital. When tissues and organs forming in embryonic development, similar sugar recognition site may bind to each of the holding cells together. The ability to identify the pathogen and any other foreign body entering the body, non-self, is equally important. Non-self glycoproblin act as antigen. So what is the antigen? It's a structure on the uh, cells. The, no, no. The glycoproteins which is not present in our body, that is antigen. Oh. Simply, what is the antigen? Anything which is not found in our body which comes from outside and due to entry of that thing, our body start making antibodies. That is what it is. Got it? Okay. It may be living or non-living. For example, you must have seen many of the people when they uh, come in contact with uh, the uh, smoke, when they come in contact with the dust, when come in contact with the plague, uh, pollen grain, they start sneezing and uh, then uh, the fever comes to them, right? So uh, uh, their body become feverish and they become ill, right? Why? So, uh, how do like uh, allergies um, take place? How are they developed? How they? How are the, the allergies developed? Allergy, allergies, uh, like uh, our, it's our own body structure, right? The so body, when uh, our antibodies become more responsive to different, different kind of the chemicals. Right, then that, that becomes energy for you. Right. So there may be, um, I must be allergic, I may be allergic to the dust. Someone else may be allergic to pollen grain. Right. So allergy is a very natural process. That's why even if the allergy do not have cure, that is just prevention. Keep away from those things which work as antigen for you. Right. Okay. So Antigen. So antigens are uh, living or non-living thing that comes from outside that causes uh, the the that initiate 
that if initiate you... the production of antibody in our body. Okay. They are quarantined. Right. Uh, let me tell you. Yes. How does WBC work and what are the antigen? I'll tell you. Just this is, I am giving you a schematic idea. This is a WBC. Basically, on the basis of function, WBC are of two types. We'll study many kinds of the WBC. Basically, the WBC, they are meant for defense. They are of two types. Phagocytic. And another one is non-phagocytic. Right. Uh, now, suppose that, what are the antigens? Any kind of substance, living or non-living, which start the production of antibody in our body, when they enter inside body and they start the production of antibody, they are the antigen. So there are certain antigens which are pathogen. So living antigens are basically pathogen. That may be virus, that may be bacteria, that may be protozoa, right, that may be pollen grain, right, so that may be fungi, they all are pathogen and there are certain non-living, non-living antigen, what can be, they may be radiation, they may be certain chemical, they may be smoke, they may be dust, right? So these are the antigen. When these pathogen enter in the body, what phagocytic cells do, phagocytic, so suppose that there is antigen which is the pathogen, right? So some pathogen entered in our body, that is, the, let's say this is the bacteria. So this is the bacteria, which is an antigen, right? So bacteria, when it will enter into our body, is it antigen or not? Yes, of Is it what? Is it antigen or not? Yes. Yes, it's antigen. So what phagocytic cell will do, they will eat it. Oh. They will eat bacteria. They will eat pathogen and die. Got it? Yes. Are pus cells. What are the pus cells? So what happened? Somebody got wound. He or she fell down or got wound. What will happen? Then that first line of the body defense broke down. Bacteria or viruses will start entering from that broken wall. Now the WBC, phagocytic WBC cell will get the information that somebody's wall is somewhere, ball, wall is broken and the enemies try to enter inside that pathogen try to enter inside the body. They will start collecting over that. They will they will eat the bacteria and they will die. And the pus formation takes place. So what are the pus? Pus are the dead phagocytic phagocytic cell which uh, which become dead after the fighting with the pathogen. Got it? Yes. So what non phagocytic do? Non phagocytic cell they do not eat the bacteria. They do not do. They are very smart ones. They start secreting 
a special kind of the protein right they will secrete a special kind of the protein from their body right this is the protein so sir pimples are actually white blood cells attacking exactly what white, white blood cells they are fighting with the pathogen okay right so this is the type of the protein what this protein will do it protein will kill pathogen right this protein remains uh, dissolved in our body for uh, many years this protein which is dissolved in our blood and kill the bacteria or any other pathogen this protein is called antibody right so antibody is produced by non phagocytosis cell got it afar or not clear yes please note it down okay done sir done right. yes <clears throat> okay uh let me search that okay. type show the wb Sir, so why are some people uh, intolerant to lactose or gluten? Um, that is that is also a type of allergy. I think oh. that's oh. allergy, pure allergy. Circulation. Is there? Let me tell you types of the WBC. So, WBC, they are six thousand to eight thousand per millimeter cubic, and WBC RBC ratios one is one is to six six hundred. And WBC, you know, they can change their shape. So, so uh, what is uh, what is the benefit with that? They can leak out of uh, the blood capillaries, and they can roam here and there in the body. So, uh, leukocytosis that is increasing WBC, right? Leukemia that is increasing WBC. Leukopenia that is decreasing WBC, right? This is the type of WBC. So WBC, try to understand uh, uh, this. This uh, yes, not of all. Give me one second. I must have this. This one type of WBC. Yeah. 
will you take the screenshot of this one yes yeah so do one thing after the uh, after i teach it uh, uh, take the screenshot and uh, jot it down in your own notebook because this i have made from somewhere right after the analysis of two or with the help of two or two two, two books i have made this one right so look wbc so they are called leukocytes they are basically of two types a granulocyte and granulocyte a granulocyte is that which do not have gra granules in their protoplasm so those wbc do not have granule in cytoplasm they are called agranulocytes further they are of two types lymphocyte and monocyte right so lymphocytes they may be b or t cells for the lymphocyte divided b cell t cell b cells we have already discussed that b cells are a type of lymphocyte cells they are produced in liver right and they produces antibody t cells they are produced in thymus directly they attack directly so there are b cell t cells lymphocytes may be of two type b cells and t cells non motile non phagocytic neither they move here and there means they do not change the shape and they are non phagocytic they do not eat any bacteria they produces antibodies that destroy the microbes toxins and tumor cells right so our body have defense mechanism against tumor cells means cancer cells what this point yes 20 to 25% of wbc they are right so their percentage is 20 to 25 percent of the whole WBC present in our body. Their life span is of few days to few years. Clear? Yes. Comes to monocytes. They are largest of WBC. They are motile, motile, and phagocytic. They engulf bacteria and cell debris means waste material of cells. Their life span is 10 to 20 years. clear yes okay now come to here look granulocytes they have granules in protoplasm their life span is 4 to 5 days right they may be of three types eosinophils basophils and neutrophils eosinophils they increase in allergy asthma a fever they help in dissolving the blood clot they are non phagocytic right they are similar like lysosomes that destroy the protista clear yes. basophils they release heparin so heparin is the things which is responsible for allergy like itching and all that right sorry uh, heparin uh, no not heparin heparin is responsible for blood clotting right so they release heparin serotonin and histamine histamine is that protein which is responsible for allergy right they are least in count neutrophil most numerous 60 to 65% of all wbc they eat harmful germs and that's why they are phagocytic right so this is the classification of what type of wbc sir uh, what's the difference between leukocytes and lymphocytes leukocyte and lymphocyte yeah okay leukocytes those leukocytes which leak out of the blood capillary and they keep on roaming with the help of with lymph they are called lymphocytes what is okay they are a type of wbc okay take this screenshot okay first take this screenshot of this one then And what's written in that blue ink? What is written in blue? Yeah. That is leukopoiesis, formation or production of uh, leukocytes is called leukopoiesis. Okay. Right. So production of WBC is called leukopoiesis. Same way, production of red blood cells, uh, red blood capsules. I'm sorry, red blood capsules is called hemopoiesis or erythropoiesis. right
Dan, apa? Yes. So, leukocytes, I have told everything. Lymphocytes, monocytes, basophils, neutrophils, eosinophils. You got everything now? Yes. So, everything we have discussed agronulocytes, monocytes, everything is. Okay. So, these are responsible for a specific. Now, there is a non specific response. Non specific response to infections are initiated by body cells breaking down and releasing the chemical by pathogen that have been labeled by the specific immune system. Right. What is the specific and what is the non specific? Non specific response for the every pathogen. And a specific response are for the particular kind of the battle. Got it? So, okay. So, non specific responses that is inflammation. So, inflammation is a common non specific way in which our body responds to infection. It is generally occurs in the case of infection which is relatively localized. Such a way, localized means at particular part of the body. Such as when you cut yourself and bacteria get into the wound, the inflammatory response involves number of the stages. A special cells called mast cells are found in, the mast cells are found below the skins, right? Found in the connective tissue below the skins and around the blood vessels when these tissues are damaged, these mast cells, basophil cells, so what are the mast cells? These mast cells and basophil cells, granulocyte, leukocyte, releases chemical known as histamine. Histamine causes the blood vessels in that area, particularly arteries, to dilate, means expect. This leads to local heat and redness. The locally raised temperature reduces the reproduction rate of pathogen in that area, basically bacteria. When body temperature increases, it reduces the rate of the multiplication of the bacteria. Clear? Yes. Histamine also make a cells, uh, make the cells from wall of the capillaries spread, um, separate slightly and thus making the capillaries permeable as a result of the plasma fluid of the blood containing the leukocytes, mainly neutrophils and antibodies, is forced out of the capillary. So I have already told you that they come out of the capillary. This causes swelling and become the larger of normal. So due to swelling takes place because of this one. This causes swelling and often pain. The antibodies disable the pathogen and the macrophages and neutrophil destroy them by phagocytosis. Got it or not? Tell me. Yes. What is fever? Fever is also a type of symptom. Fever is a common early non specific response to infection. Normal body temperature is maintained by hypothalamus. So hypothalamus is, grand, is, is uh, found in our brain and it is called thermostat of the body. It control the, control the body temperature. Normal body temperature is maintained by the hypothalamus and follow a regular uh, circadian, so regular circadian rhythm, right? It is lowest early in the morning and highest at the 10 p.m. So what is circadian rhythm? Circadian rhythm, basically, uh, it has to do with the uh, this one, uh, sun. Circadian means sun. 
so sun comes when sun comes it become day when sun goes it becomes night right so this alternate day and night means uh, due to sunlight is called circadian rhythm got it okay so you know the calendar which we follow so what is the date by today uh when uh, sorry 14 14 of december right so 14 of december so which calendar you are following i don't know oh you are following the gregorian calendar it is made by the christians oh yeah right? this is based on the sun so every calendar which is the based on the sun that calendar have 30 or 31 days this is based on the sun okay. second there is one more calendar which is followed by india along with this circadian calendar so that is also there is a, another calendar we have so uh, we count that calendar that is also have 30 to 31 day so that is also a, that is also a circadian calendar but you know there are two more calendar in this world chinese calendar and islamic calendar yeah chinese calendar and islamic calendar how many days in a month 29 to 30 right 20, not 30 28 to 29 right so they are not based on the sun they are based on their lunar calendar right so their lunar calendar so that is called lunar rhythm right so when something is based on the moon that is called lunar rhythm when something is based on the sun we call that circadian rhythm right okay. but it there are only two rhythms in world interesting right yeah. got it that's why chinese calendar is different from our calendar what what we are studying and that's how the circadian rhythm so lunar rhythm you know uh, we uh, phases of the uh, in lunar rhythm we follow the phase of moon right our body is not governed by the uh, moon our body is governed by the sun right so when we talk about the humans we always talk about the circadian rhythm but yes there are certain animals and plant which are based on the moon right so they there we follow the lunar rhythm clear so here here we talk about the circadian rhythm means the uh, sun uh, presence and absence of the sun clear yes okay <clears throat> so <clears throat> many pathogen uh, sorry uh, fewer com- uh, so rhythm it is lowest in early morning and highest about the 10 pm so that is interesting when pathogen infect our body the hypothalamus releases higher body temperature so have a fever a high temperature help us body to combat the fever in two ways to combat the infection in two ways many pathogen reproduce most quickly at 37 degree centigrade or below a higher temperature will reduce the ability of many pathogen to reproduce effectively therefore they cause the less damage first second thing the specific response to the immune system function better and higher temperature so will be most successful at the combating the infection in the temperature is raised clear this is important how does the fever to combat against the infection clear of us yes okay so in bacterial infection temperature raised steadily and remains relatively high until the treatment is successful or the body successfully controls the infection in viral infection the temperature tends to spike that is increased in the rapidly even in the virus break uh, break out the cell that decrease toward the normal again there are many <coughs> designs of clinical thermometer that help to monitor the temperature fever are often beneficial but it is uh, it is temperature gets too high they can damaging even the fatal for our body temperature raises the above the 40 degree centigrade so above the 40 degree centigrade it will damage our many of the part may even it may damage the brain oh wow yes the denaturation of some of the enzymes occurs uh, and you may suffer permanent tissue damage if the temperature is not lowered relatively quickly the death may result sweating is often associated with a fever because the body sweat is the response to the high temperature as the cooling mechanism uh, cooling mechanism if the fluid 
and the electrolyte, which are the lost in the sweat, are not replaced, the dangerous dehydration and even death may result. So, what is the normal body temperature of a? 37. Right. And, and we, we, we measure it in? In Fahrenheit. Right. We measure it in Fahrenheit, right? Okay. So, phagocytosis. Phagocytosis. You did you got the phagocytosis? We discussed it. Yeah. Cell eating. That is phagocytosis. Right. So, it is written over in neutrophils. Are, uh, are a granulocyte, so they are involved in the cell phagocytosis. There are some, some uh, different kind of the WBC which are present in our liver and they eat the bacteria. What do you, uh, what is the name of those WBCs? Uh, I don't know. Kuffer cells. K-U-F-F-E-R-S. You know? Kuffer cells. So Kuffer okay. cells are a type of modified WBC. So they they, they eat the bacteria or toxic substance and kill them. So people that have liver issues, um, they have it because of the cells? Yes. Uh, when when has someone have liver issues, liver uh, is a, like, it have lots of the function. Uh, digestive function, production of the hormones, production of the enzyme, then detoxification, formation of urea and all that, right? When liver get damaged, the immunity decreases. Okay. Right. So phagocytosis means those WBC. Uh, it is written over it. Look, neutrophils, macrophages. They are responsible for phagocytosis. Right. We'll just get each and every if you'll read. What is macrophage? Macrophage. They are a type of WBC. Nothing else. Okay. Okay. What are the cytokines? Uh, chemical. What is it? What do they do? How does they work? I don't know. No. Let me tell you. It is written over here. Cytokine. Yes, this one. Let me tell you what are the cytokines. What are the cytokine barriers actually? Look, cytokinesis is something different, the cytokine is something different, right? Try to understand. What happened? Suppose that there are a number of the cells. This is a cell. Another cell is there. And so this is the tissue. The other cells are there. So a virus came and virus infected this cell. Infected this cell. So this cell got damaged. Now what will happen? This damaged cell, this is infected. Infected cell. So, what infected cell got damaged? And what what happened inside infected cell? 
मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ वायरस और पैथोजन now what will happen these cells will produce a special kind of the chemical around it they will start they got damage and they will start producing the some enzymes uh, these enzymes or these chemicals will go to these cells and they will make these cells they will make cells or they will make surrounding cells they will make surrounding cells immune for infection now this virus it cannot infect them right so the chemical which is released by these these this this dead cell or this infected cell is called cytokines did you got and these barriers are called cytokine barriers Okay, so this cell, the infected cell, makes this chemical and sends it to the surrounding cells, so right. they become immune. Exactly. So, if we have cytokines, why do we get infected? You know, each and everything have its capability. If the virus is stronger. You know, we have number kind number of the barriers. They it keep on fighting, keep on working. But you know, but they have their limitation. When bacteria is stronger, when virus is stronger, when any pathogen is stronger. our body support system stop working get failed then what we do we go to the market we take the help of the chemical but the chemical what this medicine do this medicine they support they, they do nothing and they just help and support our own systems and the fighting will be take place by our own system only only wbc is going to fight nobody no nothing uh, other no no other cell is going to fight so these um medicines are useless all of them not all of them some of them like antibiotic they are a type of like they are a type of chemicals they go inside our body they kill the it kill directly the bacteria but most of the medicine they push our own immune system to fight well oh, okay. so these are the cytokine barriers if you want you can make it cytokine barriers make this diagram okay Okay, sir. Done. Done. Okay. Yes. Sir, is it good if I study pharmacy instead? Uh. 
form is he instead of permanent uh, what actually you want to do it depends on you like what actually you are planning for your uh, future Okay, yeah. uh, I had a specific plan, but people say it's better if I change. Uh, yeah, we discussed that you 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 want to become a dietitian nutritionist, yes? Yeah. Uh, that's good. And pharmacist means uh, if you want to become salt analyzer, if you want to become uh, like a salt scientist, if you want to go for medicine manufacturing, if you want want to go for in medicine business, then it's good. So I, I just I've always wanted to work at a hospital. I don't hate hospital. I like hospital. Okay, so um, you can become that nutritionist, that become nutritionist, physiotherapist, and all that. Like uh, yeah. and anesthesia doctor. Yeah. There are number of the way. You know, if you want to make money, then you you must go for pharmacy. A simple and straight. I'm telling you. If you want to go for money, if you want to become businessman. You want to earn lots of money. Medicine factors. Yeah, well, medicine. money is important, obviously. Yeah, that's important. Money is important, but you know there are a number of other things which, like, money is, uh, you know, uh, money is very important, Based but it is not. But it's not the most important. Thing. Yeah. You know, as per my, as per my concern, <laughs> it's really very important to use today's word. But there are a number of the things which are much more important than money. If you are healthy. Then uh, you you need just money for your survival and uh, for your basic needs, and you are the most happiest person, right? So uh, if you want to serve the people, then uh, you can go for serve the people along with like if you, you'll uh, get the handsome salary as well. So you can become nutritionist, you can become physiotherapist, you can become anesthesia doctor. Anesthesia doctors are very important. It's like they are the uh, their role is very important for each and every operation. And all, right? So you can become anesthesia doctor. And if you want to just just make the money, then you must go for the form. Not just uh, make the money. I I like to serve people. I want to help but, people. So you can become like you can you must go for uh, a new new prisoners. You must go for physiotherapist. You must go for anesthesia. Number of the branches are out there. And join the hospital. That's better. Okay. Right. Okay, so next class, we'll start from here, interference, I, because uh, you need to understand what are the interference, I'll tell you, right? interference, then we'll go ahead, right? Okay. Clear? Okay, Afaf? Yes. So, this is the time to say goodbye, right? See you in next class. Okay. Okay, so bye-bye, take care, Bye. good night and study at your home and uh, note down if you have any doubt any query any problem right. sir do you check my assignments sorry do you check my assignments the last assignment i checked the time and given the ranking as well so please do tell me <laughs> okay so my mom thinks i'm try, a bad student yeah, try, because try. i'm always saying no okay i try to try to write it down more clear or more legible Right. Okay. okay. <laughs> and scan it properly. Okay. Well, then we can do one thing. You know, uh, I I I was uh, like I was planning to share on the screen and discuss in front of you, right? Yeah, that's But you fair. need to improve. So, but you know, uh, this is still the syllabus is uh, uh, you have uh, a very uh, uh, lengthy syllabus. So that's why I don't get, uh, want to do right now, right? Okay. So, but definitely, when I'll 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 be confident that the syllabus I have uh, covered a, a large amount of the syllabus, then I'll do that in the final okay. day. Because that will that will be the much more helpful for you rather than it, when it I will be. okay. Fine. My, my main my main issue is just dancers. I don't know how to construct good ones. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll check the question, I'll, I'll check the, your uh, question sheet and uh, in the last 10 minutes, I'll share with you like what you need to